before I get chained, let's look at the bike quickly outside. For those who can already see some bits and bobs wrong, I'm going to go through it in a minute. Yes, I know you can see them, <laughs> but I just thought I'd let you uh, see the bike, what we're going to be talking about. Template, 2010 model, 125, loads of miles to the gallon, economy, tiny, tiny pencil wheels, actually they're quite good. Drum disc on this model, disc at front obviously, drum at the back, kick start, electric start, injection. Correct. Well, there you go. That's what we're talking about. Tiny front wheel. Again, looks quite nice. Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. What are we talking about today? One, two, five time. Pacific Yamaha's YBR. Half a road, I guess. I do a custom one as well of this, which I don't particularly like. What are we going to be looking at today? Well, it's a sad story, really. Little bike. Um, owner had it for about two and a half years. A uh, failed MOT on exhaust, we'll have a look at that in a minute, and the front disc pads are okay. Um, the discs do get with these. Some little scrope then decided to uh, nick it, basically. And when I say try to nick it, they're a bit thick. So they decided to uh, do more harm than good. So they started ripping off panels. And ripping off the back of the clocks, which should go here. Didn't stop there though, did they? What else did they do to the bike? Let's have a look. Fuck. Oh. So, after they ripped the uh, clocks apart, they then decided, well, oh, crap the front headlight somehow, rip off the indicator, destroy the throttle cable. This is a twin one, this is. Cut the starter switch. Try and burst the lock. Well, that was sensible-ish, I guess. That's what you thought you'd go for. Whipping the panels off. They've just damaged the actual panels. This is my them on the floor. They need new ones. But I didn't actually do anything to here. And whipping this side off. What's the airbox, you bloody idiot? Oh, I don't know how you're going to nick a bike with an airbox ripped off. Throttle cable. It's a twin one, this is. So it needs the replacing, this is an injection model, so it takes two, one up, one down. So I'm replacing both, you get them in a pack. Well here's the brand new lovely shiny exhaust he put on. You know what, a bit of polish, and they look lovely. I don't even think he, uh, he rode it before it got stolen. Front disc, failed the MOT on this. Do you know what, there's not really even a lip on that. I've bought another one, it's on the sheet. Do you know if you uh, ever, this was a uh, L player, little bracket. If you ever find that you read the sheet, it's got a failure on it. The next MOT guy's going to look at that and say it's a failure. But do you know what? I can't see anything bloody wrong with that at all. Headstop on this is good. So uh, that's all good. So it's a case of uh, popping the indicator, fixing that, taking the tank off. As you know in my videos... I'm going to change the spark plug, change the air filter, take the oil out of this, and uh, take the tank off, panels off. You know, I have the same description for big bikes and small bikes. I don't know what's happened to this bike, and I actually don't even know if it runs. That's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> so, I suppose the first thing is waiting for the new lock set to come on. Now, lock sets, they can be a bit of a bugger to uh, replace. You have to take the handlebar the top yoke off. At the end of the day, they make it so you can't just steal what this idiot tried to do um, with the wiring underneath. So I'm getting a new lock set. I mean, lucky enough, it did come with the key, original one, so I can get the petrol out when I've got a new lock set. Lock sets aren't that dear. The most expensive thing are the side panels. They were like 36 quid each. This is the Mark II version. Mark II version came with these little flat fender extender bits here on the tank. And nicer, where are they? Oh, nicer ones are these. <laughs> the other one's got a bit of plastic on the Mark 1. What's nice about these bikes? They do 65 mile an hour, maybe a bit more downhill, uh, but generally 65 is what you're expecting out of these bikes. The engine on these are better than your cheapy ones. Uh, we all know the cheapy ones. These engines generally are better. Injection model, 
Um, I always liked carb. I had someone comment the other day something about uh, cut injections always much better. With smaller bikes, tend not to be. One to five much better, but I've had a lot of problems with the pegs with injections. Reason being is if the carb messes around, you know, good old carb. 20 pound for another one, you can mess around with it. Injection, you can't really mess around with them. There's not a lot you can do to them and they go wrong and it's big money, not 20 odd quid. That's why I say prefer these rather than injections. That's the only reason why really. And if you look at the CBRs, let's go to bigger bikes, GSXR 600s. The early carb models were 101 brake. When you actually got to bigger ones, they're 94 brake injection. So there's always a bit of a loss there. Anyway, get back to the good old 125. What do these come with? Very, very tiny wheels. The CBR Hondas and these Yamahas all came out of these tiny little wheels. Um, more for economy, would you believe? These are supposed to, I don't know on the figures, 80 something silly miles to the gallon. I like this one particularly. It's got kickstart as well as electric start. That is such a great thing to have. Um, I'm gonna get the battery off, like I say in all my videos. Let's get the battery off and see if that will be charged up. It failed in my tier in August, that's, um, Go off seven, eight months ago now, so I'm assuming that could be dead and buried, but we'll have a look and go from there. Um, bars look straight. Yeah, it's not been down the road at all. There's no other damage. It just looked like, you know, someone tried to steal it. These normally come with a back rack, but you know what, except it's been pulled up, because I think they just tried to go through it. Um, I think it looks a lot better without the back rack, personally. Um, you know, it is a round headlight bike. There was an old saying, wasn't there? The old saying, but ain't broke, don't fix it. This design has been out forever. You know, I'm not going back to the 70s, 80s when the uh, Suzuki CG and the wet lot came out. You know, and they really started getting smart. So they found something that works, they stuck with it. I do like more shaped headlights and fairings and everything else. But this bike, it's not what it's about, okay? This bike is for a commuter bike. Guaranteed to start every time you get on it. Guaranteed to get you home. That's the Yamaha, that's the Hondas. So, in my next video, we are going to be taking it all apart. I'm getting some new parts, a couple of three days, and we're going to go through all the things we need to do. Look at the chain, sprockets, oil, filter, plug, taking the clocks, redoing them, um, brakes, uh, lock set chains. That's going to be the biggest thing here, and I can't do nothing to this. Difficult. I've paid out a lot of money to get all the parts, and I don't know if this runs. So I could change the lock set and nothing, you know. If it's something small, you know, it's great. If it's an engine seized or buggered, anyway, here's to tell if it's seized. There we go. It's not an engine seize by kicking it over. Do you know, I should have done that before I got it, shouldn't I? Brake fluids look good in here. No need to change. That is really, really clear. It has a little bit of service history, so that's not too bad. Knowing that someone paid a brand new exhaust out on it, that must be bugger, mustn't it? Paying that out and then getting it stolen. A um, few little bit more of a uh, screws and stuff here to be sorted out. So I'm going to rip it all apart. That'll be in the next video. You know what you need to do? Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. I keep making them. And this will be over the next week or so. I'll get in this all ready. And we're going to see what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. And then outside when it's all cleaned and ready for someone to uh, to enjoy. But yeah, not not bad little bikes. And not a bad bit of money for it. Battery off, let's get that charged. Thanks, guys. Let's get the battery. I said, guys, what the fuck do I keep saying, guys? Fuck, 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 girls. Ah!